The very funny Billy Crystal, who's still back in the future, and even magic can't get him out of there at this time. I'd also like to thank my wonderful dancers and the Rams cheerleaders. And unless someone has something else to say, I guess it's time to say goodnight. Where did the ducks go? I was afraid you were going to say that. You know, to be perfectly honest, I do not know where the ducks are right at this minute. Wait a minute, somebody's at the door. Tune with Punch and John Tango with some Foxy Thieves on Chips. Then George Burns, Art Carney, and Lee Strasberg star in Going in Style, a comedy to steal your heart. Tomorrow night on a special 90-minute Little House, Laura's Baby is Born. Then join Johnny Carson as he finally fulfills his childhood fantasies in a 90-minute special full of surprises as Johnny goes home tomorrow on NBC. Thursday on Fame, the teachers go on strike, but the kids' show must go on. Will the pressures break them or pull them together? And Dad faces a news expose. Go ahead, Dad. Expose yourself. Different strokes. Then Samantha steals a squad car. Give me a break. Right after Fame and Different Strokes, Thursday on NBC. Because the news comes first. News Center 3 update brought to you by Amoco Oil. Good evening. Lech Walesa is back at his home in Gdansk, Poland. The head of the now banned Solidarity Labor Movement is free after 11 months of internment. Details at 10. And the space shuttle is in orbit for the fourth day. Two of the astronauts are preparing for a walk in space tomorrow. Now this. Give your car a lift with Amoco Super Lead Free for high octane, high power, and high performance. More layoffs will reportedly come tomorrow at the American Stores packing plant in Lincoln. We'll have full details at 10. I need some answers. Can I get consistent grass control from one pass incorporating my two-pass herbicide? Probably not, because one pass incorporation leaves some chemical on the surface. Watch what happens when I put the active ingredients of lasso and the leading two-pass corn herbicide on this balance scale. In a matter of hours, the two-pass herbicide evaporates. And the lasso stays put. Surface blend with lasso, designed for one pass incorporation. This is new, new Quadrant cough formula. Every drop of Quadrant gives you more kinds of relief than a whole bottle of Vicks or Robitussin. Quadrant has more kinds of medicine, so each dose relieves both your cough and the symptoms that make your cough worse. The sore throat pain, upper chest congestion, post-nasal drip. And Quadrant relieves your cough for up to eight hours. Quadrant cough formula. More kinds of relief in every drop. If you want to see a class act, don't miss the ninth annual Woman of the Year Gala, a benefit for the Arthritis Foundation, Thursday, November 18th. A gourmet dinner and musical extravaganza at Peony Park. And this is your invitation. Call 558-2400 for tickets. The gala, it's a class act. The news comes first at Channel 3. Doug Henning's Magic on Broadway. guest star and Ryan King. Special appearances by Eric Estrada, Anita Morris, Andrea McArdle, Alison Smith, and Debbie Henning.
hi, everybody. Welcome to my world of magic on Broadway. Excuse me, buddy. You got a license to drive this thing on here? Yes, I do. Eric, you're, you're with the California Highway Patrol. What are you doing here in New York? I just go where my motorcycle leads me, and I see that you do the same, Doug. Uh, what brings you to the Big Apple? Ah, uh, New York is like home to me. I spent some terrific years on Broadway in the magic show, and tonight I brought all my magic back here to Broadway. Hey, that's terrific, but why all the cops around here? The cops are guarding the theater inside and out because tonight I'm going to do an illusion with one million dollars in cash. A million dollars? That's What's right. the motorcycle for? So you can make a fast getaway? <laughs> nope, the motorcycle's for another incredible illusion. All right, but Doug, I've been around motorcycles for a long time. There's nothing pretty incredible about them. Well, there is tonight. Eric, you sit down on the bike and watch the amazing motorcycle mystery. <laughs> I thought we did some pretty fancy things with motorcycles on chips. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's just the beginning. Tonight, you're going to see things that will expand the boundaries of your mind and fill you with wonder. Not to mention the million dollars. That's right. Stay with us for all the magic. We'll be right back. Holiday time is real special to me. Me of when and I first started out. <laughs>
Park. This has always been a magical place, especially on Sundays, because throughout the park you can see lots of wonderful magicians performing their close-up illusions for the crowds. Now I'd like to show you two of my favorite small illusions. And I need two people from the audience to come up and help me. There's two little people right out. Can you come up here, please? Yeah, little girl, little guy. Hi there. There we go. What's your name? This is Edna. And what's your name? David. David. Will you come and sit right there, David and Edna? You come and sit right down there and watch the amazing illusions. And I'd like to tell you that, like all my magic I do on TV, there's absolutely no trick photography. Everything you see at home, the audience is seeing right here in the theater. Now, the first illusion I'd like to show you is an illusion with an ordinary, everyday object found, I'm sure, in every household throughout the world. This, as I'm sure you know, Edna and David, is a Rubik's Cube. As you can see, there are nine little colored squares on each side, and the colored squares are completely mixed up. Also, the sides of the cube move every which direction like this, and as you can see, the colors just get more and more mixed up. That is unless you're a genius or you spend hours and hours trying to solve the puzzle, and then you can get a solid color on each side. Personally, I have to solve the puzzle by magic. It's going to happen instantly and visibly. Watch. Now. Well, thank you. Thank you. Now, that was a very modern illusion. I'd like to show you now one of the oldest illusions in magic. It's called the cups and balls. Now this was done many, many centuries ago and the magicians always use two or three cups and two or three balls. I've simplified it a little bit for you, Edna, and for you, David. I'm only going to use one little copper cup and one green ball. Now I'm going to explain what's going to happen. Then you can help part and participate, okay? Now I take the little green ball, Edna and David, I put it inside the cup and I shake it up like that and I take it and put it inside of my pocket. Okay, and you're supposed to guess whether the ball is under the cup or in my pocket. Have you got that? Okay, let's begin. You got, okay, the ball goes right down inside of the cup. I shake it up like this, and I take it, and I put it down inside of my pocket. Now, Edna, do you think the ball is in my pocket or under the cup? Under the cup. Under the cup. Are you sure you don't want to change your mind? Yes, I do. Where do you think now? 
And you, you have to watch a little closer, Edna, okay? Let's try something a little bit easier now. The ball is going to penetrate right through the handkerchief, leaving no hole. That's what makes it magical. I put the ball right on top of the handkerchief, and we cover it with the cup to make it a little bit more mysterious. Watch, it's going to pass right through. Look, the ball went right down inside of the... Wait a minute. Look, the little ball got scared and went home. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This time, the ball is going to pass into the glass, through the cup, and through the handkerchief. Now, I'm going to take the ball, David, and put it down inside of my pocket, and it's going to pass into the cup either visibly or invisibly. How would you like to see it go? Yes. Invisibly, through the air. Did you see it go? Well, you should have, because look, there it is, right down inside of the glass. Now, this time, this time, Edna, I'm going to do the same thing, a little bit faster. It goes down inside of my pocket, and it's going to go invisibly to the cup. Did you see it go? Well, you should have, because look, it's a lemon, but that's not what really amazes me. What floors me is how this onion gets in here. Especially since they don't even fit inside the cup. Thank you. Now you're gonna see something truly amazing. During my career as a magician, I've made many things vanish. Beautiful women, tigers, once even a 7,000-pound elephant. But right now, I'm going to perform my greatest vanishing feat of all. In fact, it's called the vanishing feat, because I'm going to make my own two feet vanish. First of all, <laughs> I will make my right foot vanish. You're laughing. Next, I will bring my right foot back and make my left foot vanish. Now is a grand finale. I will make both feet vanish. I was doing the magic show on Broadway, I think you were the very first young lady to play the title role in the musical Annie, correct? That's right. That was five years ago. And then I did what kids usually do, I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> How many Annies has there been on Broadway since then? Uh, there have been five, including the current Annie. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I know you're now doing lots of theater and television, but I'd like to take you back in time to your Annie days. <laughs>
1982 Andy, Allison Smith. A fresh idea is baking. You can sense it in the air. It tastes so good and wholesome. You're gonna have to share. Pillsbury Quick Bread is chock full of real dates, nuts, and cranberries. And it goes from box to oven in three minutes. After that, Quick Bread goes even quicker. The freshest ideas are baking, baking at Pillsbury. <laughs> this is... This is Pitfall, the smash it... The smash it video game by... You've been amazing me for years. When you played on Broadway in The Magic Show, I came to see you four times. Oh. I'm telling you, your, your mastery of the art of illusion is its fascinating. It's, it's, it's miraculous. Well, thank you very much, Tony. Of course, I don't believe anything I see. What if I were to prove you that illusion can become reality by using your own body? <laughs> this body? My mind is too strong for that. Of course, you can do anything you want to do. It's your show, but it's my body, but it's your show. Well, good. Then let me introduce you to one of my very beautiful assistants. Hi there, Carol. Oh. Yeah. Is she going to do something to my body? <laughs> no, Tony, that won't be necessary. Oh, I was just thinking, you know, a fellow can't help that. <laughs> now, Tony, since yeah. you're wearing your beautiful black tuxedo, may we have the black cloth, please? Tony, you're going to take this little gray pole with the black apple with the wings on top, right? I'd like you to come over here and just step around. Yes. You have to leave Carol for a second and walk behind the black cloth. Now, if you just work here to the far end of the cloth, okay? I'll do whatever you ask, Doug, but I should tell you, I don't believe in Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny either. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not going to turn you into either one. I'm just going to wrap you up in this little black cloth, and you can just scoot, 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 scoot. Right over about there. You're comfortable in there, Tony. Perfectly comfortable, Doug. Just as I suspected, nothing has happened. <laughs> Just watch. Carol, you have the white pole. Let's have the, the white cloth right here, and you're wearing a white dress. I'm going to take Carol and bring her right over here, and she's going to walk behind the white cloth. You just scoot down to the end there, too, Carol. You can see the little apple. And we're going to wrap Carol all up mummy fashion in this white cloth. There we go. Good. Roll it up like this. The old mummy illusion here. Okay. Now, are you ready in the black cloth, Tony? Oh, I'm ready, Doug. But I'm not as convinced. Are you ready in the white cloth, Carol? Yes, I am, Doug. Now for the magic. wrapped up in the black cloth, wasn't I? That's right. And Carol was wrapped up in the white cloth. Right again. Carol, we, we've shared a remarkable experience together, haven't we? <laughs> yes. Would you care to discuss it over a 
Bit of bubbly? Oh, I'd love to. Oh. <laughs> I'm becoming a believer. Tony Randall. Whenever I get to New York, I spend a lot of time in the Egyptian rooms of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, researching illusions that come from Egypt, a land where magicians use their magic to inspire people to delve deeper into the mysteries of creation and to initiate people into the beyond. So come with me now inside an Egyptian temple at the time of the pharaohs. going to break all known laws of nature with the illusion of the statue of the pharaohs. Ready? Do you plan to listen to that music for the rest of the day? Sure do. Just put in the Energizer. Of all leading battery brands, nothing outlasts the Energizer from EverReady. Nothing outsnaps it. Nothing outadds. Outwalks. Outplays. Outtapes. Outshines. Outlasts it. Nothing. If only Miss Green worked as long as the Energizer. The Energizer. Energize for life. Long life. Energize me. Wonderful, Mr. Brick Olsen. Just in case you're held in on a shopping spree. Just in case you're hugged a hundred times. Just in case you're a bachelor with a new degree. You've got your dial. Dial, the leading deodorant soap, has twice the active ingredient of the number two brand. Twice as much for confidence all day long. Just in case. Hey. Oh, boy. Doug Hennig's Magic on Broadway will be right back. A woman driven by passion, a doctor tempted by lust, a son burning for revenge. They're all on a collision course, all dressed to kill Monday. This is News Center 3 Update. Good evening. Lech Walensa is home tonight. 1,000 well-wishers were on hand to greet him at his home in Gdansk. It was the first time the Solidarity leader has been outside of confinement in 11 months. The Federal National Mortgage Association has a new plan today that may make buying a home a lot easier. We'll have local reaction at 10. Now this. Del Monte introduces vegetables with no salt added. So now you have a choice. Del Monte regular and new Del Monte vegetables with no salt added. The space shuttle astronauts have turned in for the night. Tomorrow, the big space walk. All the news at 10. Next week, 17 murders and 28 assaults will happen in Omaha, and you won't need to leave your home to see them. That's because they'll take place on your TV set, where children are exposed to an estimated 18 violent acts per hour on Saturday mornings alone. The children understand to some extent, quite, a, quite an extent, that this is make-believe. Do children understand television violence? And is the violence trend increasing or decreasing? Find out from Mike Oling this week at 10 on News Center 3. Live from West Roads, Monday. And now the enchanted silver sphere. The legend goes that all who gaze upon it 
regain the innocence and wonder of childhood. Take this to my dressing room. I want to take it home with me. I just love a little enchantment around the house. <laughs> Don't you find that New York is full of all kinds of enchantment? Oh, absolutely. Where else can a girl get turned into a Dalmatian? <laughs> well, lucky for us, a Dalmatian was able to change his spots, and we got you back. <laughs> well, you know, magic works in two ways. Magic works in hundreds of ways. I'll show you what I mean. Let's stroll over to the Plaza Hotel. <laughs>
Debbie, I'd like to show you a wonderful new illusion. Oh, great. Which one? Well, I thought this one would be pretty easy. I'm going to take two blades like this and divide you into three pieces. Hmm. Sounds like fun. What do I do? Well, you just get inside of this box and I put the blades right through. I got to get into this box? Yeah. Oh, but Dougie, it's much too small. No, no, it isn't. Look, I'll show you. We're about the same size here. I'll show you. You fit perfectly. You just get in the box and you do up these little stocks on your on your legs and on your hands. You can do this one up. Okay. And you fit right in here like this. Oh. That's all there is to it. Well, that's a cinch. Then what do I do? Well, then I pass my hand in front of your face and put you into a deep hypnotic sleep. Ah, you mean like this? figure out how you did it. My wife, Debbie. One of the reasons I wanted to bring this show to New York was so that I could see all the people I used to work with on Broadway. One of them is a beautiful lady who appeared with me in the magic show a few years ago and is now starring in the Tony Award winning musical Nine. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Anita Morris. welcome you back to Broadway. Thank now, you. I know you are doing a new magical musical called Merlin. That's right, and I'm very excited about it. I can hardly wait. Well, you should be excited. Now, Doug, you told me tonight that you and I are going to do an illusion with one million dollars. That's right. Well, that I'd like to see. <laughs> You're going to. You know that New York is the money capital of the world. So why don't you and I go down to Wall Street and become financial wizards? Ah. Doug, now I've seen you work wonders with money before. I once saw you borrow a $20 bill from someone in the audience, burn it to ashes, and then restore it. Do you remember? Sure I do, but that was a few years ago. There's been a lot of inflation since then, you know. That's why tonight I'm going to do it with $1 million in cash. Now, who in the audience has a million dollars I can borrow? I'm just going to... No, you don't have a million dollars. Anita, do you have a million dollars? Sorry, darling, I forgot my purse. <laughs> well, then, I'm going to have to produce the million dollars magically. Look, 
This is a clear, empty plexiglass box. And it's sitting on a table you can see underneath throughout the whole illusion. Hi there. This is what we're going to produce. We have it graphically illustrated here. One million dollars in cash. A one followed by one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Oh, I love those zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, now tell us the truth. How can you make a million dollars appear just like that? Well, as any tycoon knows, all it takes is a little magic. Watch. Well, on Wall Street, there's only one way to prove it. Ask a banker, and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to ask the chairman of the board of directors of the Anchor Savings Bank here in New York, Mr. Don Thomas. Let's welcome Mr. Don Thomas. Hi, Don. Welcome to the World of Magic. Is he the leader? Mr. Henning? On behalf of my bank, <laughs> I certify that this is $10,100 bills for a total of $1 million cash. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. <laughs> now, Anita, you can help me burn the money, and we'll just cover it with this little screen here. Well, wait a minute, Doug. Now... Before, I've always watched your illusions from out front, but do you think that possibly just this one time I could get in this box with this money? Sure, I think that would be all right. <laughs> oh, there thank you. Go. you. Just climb up there. Oh, I, I just want to see what this money's like, you know? I just... Okay. It will protect you with magic as you oh. burn the money. <laughs> Now watch closely, we're gonna burn this money. There we go. Light the torch. Now I'm gonna burn one million dollars. Haven't you always wanted to do that? Here we go. and I bring Anita back, too, and I'm going to do it now in a very magical way. Over the first few rows of the audience throughout the whole show has been hanging a combination safe. Bring down the safe. by Kodak. It's changing the way people take pictures. Picture a brand new world. The Kodak disc camera advances the film automatically so you can get the pictures you may have missed before. And it knows when to flash and can flash again in one and one third seconds. All you do is push one button. The Kodak disc camera. Bet you know someone who'd love one. Picture a brand new world. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, harmonize a little longer. Ah, ah. Longer with Big Red, that Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on, while you chew it, say goodbye.
Thursday. I just can't handle it anymore. Doris pays the high price of fame. And when Carla whips up a special after-hours brew, it's lights out for Diane. Oh, my God, Carla, you killed her. Cheers. Then on Taxi... <laughs> it's a close encounter for Louie. And a case of overexposure for Bobby on Hill Street Blues. Don't worry, I only shot your good side. Here we go! Thursday on NBC, the best night of television on television. And now, ladies and gentlemen, my favorite illusion... This illusion was first performed by Houdini around 1898, and it completely amazed everyone then. In fact, when Sir Arthur Conan Doyle saw Houdini do this, he actually thought the magician dematerialized and passed right through solid. Now, the fastest illusion in the world, metamorphosis. Need a volunteer from the audience, somebody to come up here and help me. There's a young man, can you come up here? Hi there, what's your name? Hi, Ben, just stand right over there. I want you to knock on top of the trunk, make sure it's... It sure is solid. Check out the bottom here. How's that look on there? Okay, good. Come on around the back, Ben, right over here. I want you to hold on to the top, check the latches, and knock on both sides. And away we go. Debbie's getting down here inside the truck. Look all right there, Ben? Yep, all Good. You just stay back here and watch everything closely. Handcuffs. Two chains around each one of Debbie's wrists. Locked with a padlock. Check the locks and chains in the bar. Make sure escape's completely impossible, or at least highly unlikely. <laughs> Check that one, too. Now Debbie's getting down here inside the satin sack. Ben, hold on to the top of the sack. We'll tie her in. She'll never get out of this. She never stops dancing. Get down there. Okay, Ben, help me throw in the top, and we'll put the latches all the way around. There we go. Take this into the chain, please. Put it through there and there, and I'll meet you at the front. Check this lock for me, which is bent, please, right there. The keys! Take the keys, go stand over there with Johnny. Now, don't blink your eyes, or you'll miss metamorphosis. One, two, three, it's me! to invite all of you to come with me to one of the most magical places of all. Let's go to the circus! <laughs> Thank you. 
center ring. Things that go bump in the night. tremendous amount of confusion. Um, the kids uh, today have a very steady diet of um, exposure to violence through television cartoons and videos linked up to toys that really kind of tell them that uh, violence and war are exciting.